lost our, our post office at the end of last year. And then on the 1st of March this year, our village shop also closed. So we conducted a, a sizable community consultation process and the result of that was a, a very powerful level of support for a community shop. We are run by a team of volunteers and we are open every day of the week from 8.30 until 12. I mean, and that's only thanks to people getting stuck in and helping out. And we've had lots of new people come forward, so we've been able to accommodate other days. And providing, we hope to think, all of the needs, certainly the essentials, for all of our villages. We have sourced most of our things locally, including our bread, our meat, our eggs. We have a jam and chutney and pickle supplier. And luckily, during COVID, we were able to find a supplier from the Cotswolds that supplied us with flour. It's absolutely brilliant to be able to just pop up and choose any of your items that you want and you have got a great variety now. So that led us to have an idea of having a community bake-off. So people would be able to bake whatever they wanted to. They brought it to our shop on a Saturday morning. We sold the products for the benefit of the shop and we had so many people turn out. Well I know for some of our customers that they do pop in and they they love to chat and you often see them bumping into somebody else maybe on the way in or on the street outside and people stopping for conversations. It really does help connect people and for some of them that we might be the only people they speak to that day. We decided that we would run coffee mornings every Saturday morning and that we got such good feedback from the community from that because people were seeing each other they hadn't seen in months sometimes. We're learning every day as we go along and the COVID experience has taught us what we are going to do as a community shop to the benefit of the community long term.